And there is one aspect or theory in graphic design that is so important that if overlooked, the designer would likely create designs that simply just aren't good. It's called symbolic interaction and it stretches across almost every single area of graphic design. And by the end of today's video, you will become a complete master at this topic. To preface exactly how important this theory is, we need to quickly remind ourselves of something equally as important. Now, we are designers, right? We create visual communication for businesses or brands. But what does that exactly mean to you and what does it mean to me as a designer? Well, it means our designs need to efficiently communicate something to an audience in the shortest amount of time possible. Now, this could be as obvious as something being on sale like cat food, to something as nuanced as communicating empathy or sorrow through a design for a charity. It's all communication. So, this theory or this principle, symbolic interaction, it actually refers to a quick and efficient communication of ideas, messages or brand values without the need for lengthy explanations. Everything is just communicated visually and quickly. It's taking what graphic design is at its core and just doubling down on that notion. And so let me show you some real life examples of this in action and then at the end of today's video we're going to test your knowledge on the content you've just seen. The Porsche logo, it's quite beautiful isn't it? Symbolic interaction has been used on this design in a very clever way. Now take a look at the horse in the center of the logo itself and also ask yourself why is it there? Now if you do some research into Porsche, you will know the company originated from Stuttgart, Germany. And that horse is taken from Stuttgart's coat of arms. But this isn't actually true symbolic interaction. Sure, it's a nice little brand story isn't it, but it doesn't actually deliver the message to the audience quickly. You'd need to do research and find out about the Stuttgart connection with Porsche. The true symbolic interaction lies in how the symbolism of the horse conveys a sense of power, speed and elegance. This appeals to the emotions associated with luxury and high performance. It taps into the psychology and aspirations of prestige, all on a subconscious level. Now would the Porsche logo work if instead of the horse, the designer placed a cartoony graphic of a car wheel in the middle? No. Now the story or the message of heritage, prestige, power and elegance is completely wiped away and gone. Logo design is only one small way that symbolic interaction can be used. So let's look at some valid ways that designers use this and then of course again later at the end of the video we will test your knowledge. Symbolic interaction is sort of like the fabric of graphic design if you will. You could even call it the essence of graphic design in the respect that it makes design what it is. Take a marketing design for a new gaming mouse as an example. How might symbolic interaction fit in here on this design? Well firstly, the imagery and the graphics. If the advert design showed one static image of the mouse on a desk, it might seem slow, boring and bland. Instead, as a designer, you might showcase the gaming mouse in action with dynamic images that emphasize speed, precision and control. You might incorporate neon lighting, dynamic graphics, and elevate the idea of the mouse via imagery. So the psychology or the symbolism here is action-orientated visuals that kind of convey mastery and precision. And for people who are competitive, this can be quite empowering from a psychological point of view. Gamers often seek tools that make them feel in control and enhance their gaming skills. And the visual symbolism here can even play off of written symbolism on the adverts. There could be slogans that emphasize themes of victory, precision, and the immersive gaming experience facilitated by the mouse. So things like dominate the game or precision unleashed, these could be used. And so the graphics could actually enforce that symbolic manner. Now here's one fact as to why symbolic interaction is so powerful. Symbolic interaction is the very thing that allows for a brand to actually exist in the first place. Try this for a second. Close your eyes just for a minute and think about the franchise McDonald's. What actually springs to mind for you when you consider McDonald's? Sure, you might have an image of a burger pop up into your mind, but I'm sure many of you would also have a mental image of their Golden Arches logo. 
The golden arches are globally recognized and associated with McDonald's. The distinctive shape and color are familiar to the people and they create an ease of identification. And this makes it easy for customers to spot McDonald's in any location around the world. Simple, yes. Powerful, almost certainly. And this is why designers need to be aware of symbolic interaction because it does exist in pretty much every aspect of graphic design. It is also found in something as simple as website icons. Icons on a website often serve as symbolic representations of different sections or actions. An example, a magnifying glass for search. Now it seems so obvious, doesn't it? But a lot of the time, the most obvious solution is the best. Users interact with these symbols by clicking or tapping on them to navigate through a website. And well-designed icons enhance the user experience by providing visual cues and improving navigation efficiency. Now just imagine if instead of icons, websites used words for every single clickable button. The websites or the UI would become a mess and navigation around it would be vastly slower to the user. Now before we go ahead and test our knowledge of symbolic interaction, we can actually boil down the whole thing into one simple sentence. Symbolic interaction is the use of visual cues that express a message or action on a design. And now it's time to check out a design and see if you can detect symbolic interaction on that design. So here's the design by Clickable Design and we're going to run through it to see if you've grasped the concept of symbolic interaction. And if you haven't, don't worry because this section of the video will clear things up for you. And you can also pause the video if you want to look over the design and then see if you can determine where and how symbolic interaction has been used. So, the first really obvious way it's been used is of course the icons in the lower left. Incorporating icons or symbols that resonate with the target audience helps a design reach that intended audience. It's a quick and an easy way to convey shared meanings through a specific community. And it's pretty cool how these 3D icons match the focal point 3D nature. But of course, 2D would have worked as well. But what is the second way in which symbolic interaction has been used here? Well, again, it's use of icons, but this time it's 2D icons. Now we can see icons and graphics typical to gaming and gamers, but also graphics that belong in futuristic technology-based designs, like this arrow or the glass overlay. Now these work because the design's vibe or the message is technology and futurism, and so the symbolic use of these 2D icons pushes that narrative further. Also, the focal point is so blatantly futuristic and tech-orientated. We can see the coding over the face, and everything about it just appeals to the design message and the target audience. Oh, and as a side note from a past course video, check out the movement and the flow of the arrows and the lines that point left to right. Yeah, I just thought I had to add that into the video. But the next way symbolic interaction has been used is with typography. Fonts and typography carry meaning and they evoke emotion. We all know this, and so selecting fonts with specific characteristics, an example here, modern and futuristic sans serif font, can influence how the audience interprets a message. In this instance here, it pushes the message and the story of the design being cutting edge and in line with the gaming narrative. A serif font here just simply wouldn't work because it would dictate an incorrect symbolism. And there's another pretty obvious use of symbolic interaction here, and that is with color. Blue is a very technology-based color, and then we see it accented with a vibrant neon red, which is almost cyberpunk in style. Red is exciting, and together with this color scheme, it looks very futuristic, and it would appeal to gaming audiences. The next point really puts the interaction in symbolic interaction. And that's because in interactive designs, such as websites or apps like this example, we can use intuitive symbols and gestures to align the user's expectations, which creates a seamless and meaningful interaction. And that's relevant here on the Discover More section. The arrow symbolizes movement and continuing onto the next thing, which is where the designer would like the user to go. Again, it's simple, but it works, and it's a tried and tested method within graphic design. But can you find any more cases of symbolic interaction on this design? If the answer is yes, slap it down in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more neat things about graphic design, just click a video on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace. <laughs>